James Melendez, James the wine guy in this video review, we're gonna talk about flavor and scent characteristics. Now I'm gonna talk about this wine in another video review, uh, but I love to have propage or props. And uh, for me, it's really outstanding to do so. It, it would be so um, uninteresting if there were nothing here. Sure, the books in the background uh, really help out, but I think ultimately to give an, an essence of what this is about, which is wine. Now, the reason I want to talk about this is I've had a few people say to me that they thought that there was characterizations of the wine that are being uh, incorporated from, say, maybe essence of raspberry or blueberry or blackberry or black cherry, whatever it might be, and infused in the wine, and that's not the case. And I, you know, quickly explained that the reason you would use such uh, descriptions is because every Cabernet Sauvignon is not like every other Cabernet Sauvignon being produced, or Syrah or Merlot or whatever it might be. It is different by producer, by region, by uh, vintage, and there's so many different um, other categorizations that talk about wine that make it different every year. So just because you want uh, maybe this producer's wine uh, year in, year out, is it going to be the same wine? No, it's going to be different. And that's a fun thing about wine. Wouldn't it be uninteresting if it was all the same and uh, you would, you know, maybe be a, a commoditization? And the whole reason the labeling, um, you know, system exists is that not all wines are created equal. And hence the reason for a point score. Hence uh, for a reason to talk about wine in terms of scent and flavor profiles. Why not? And uh, you know that's some criticism I've received, which uh, you know one person said, well, you know, ten dollar wine is just uh, the same as a hundred dollar bottle of wine, and, and and I'm not to defend or you know uh, say that all hundred dollar bottles of wines are superior to ten dollar bottles. That's not necessarily the case. I've had some outstanding ten dollar bottles as well as some that maybe at the 50 to or $100 price point, they were just okay, mediocre, or maybe not good. And that's why we do this, that's why we talk about this. So I do try to keep my uh, descriptions down to a minimum. I don't like to go on because I know other wine reviewers have, and uh, descriptions that are just, you know, ad nauseum that really, at a certain point, I think I get lost, and I'm not really sure what they're trying to denote about the wine, and I think it takes away from that. So I, my brand is different, that's what I do. And uh, so I, I make no apologies for that, but I definitely want to, you know, talk about that because it's important to talk about. So, um, you know, I, I love to talk about wine. I'll do this another video review of this wine uh, in particular because it deserves it. So, more reviews. Please uh, join me at jamesthewineguy.com. Subscribe to my videos on YouTube right here. And uh, if you like this video, please give a like right here. I'd appreciate that very much. And uh, more social media um, experiences. I'm on uh, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo. Google Plus and Pinterest. Thank you so much and salut.